Hello mortals. One of the greatest indicators of a civilization's progress is the structures it builds. For humanity, this comes in the form of multi-story parking lots and highway exchanges. These are quite small because of our civilization's young age as a worldwide species. We'd expect older and more advanced civilizations to have much higher spatial and energy demands, necessitating ever larger creations for habitation, resource, and energy production, and perhaps even statues for their deities, all of this in the form of megastructures, structures at the astronomical scale. From the well-known Dyson Sphere to more obscure ideas like intergalactic tubes, let us try and rank the hypothetical mega-creations of alien life in the classic tier list format. Dyson Sphere by far the most well-known alien megastructures, Dyson spheres are massive energy collectors around stars. They were first imagined in the sci-fi novel Star Maker by Olaf Stapledon. However, it was physicist Freeman Dyson who explored the idea seriously, with further iterations now carrying his name. The version of a sphere is one that he does not subscribe to, as it is incredibly impractical to create a solid shell around a star, both in terms of stability but also in terms of where the hell would you get that much material. For context, 99.9% .9 of the solar system's mass is in the Sun itself, landing Dyson spheres directly into F-tier. Intergalactic tubes. The vast vacuum of space is not a perfect vacuum. Even the voids between galaxies are not fully devoid of particles. At ultra-relativistic speeds, collisions with these scattered particles may be intense enough to turn your spaceship into Swiss cheese, thus limiting the speed at which intergalactic travel can happen. The solution. Build a giant tube that's even closer to a true vacuum between two galaxies. With such intergalactic tubes, civilizations may easily travel close to light speed. How long would this need to be again? F-tier. Matryoshka Brain. Matryoshka Brains are an iteration of Dyson Spheres that further examines the purpose and feasibility of this type of structure. Rather than limiting itself to one shell around a star, it adds more layers to fulfill various needs. The inner layer surrounding the star is used to collect the energy to power a supercomputer. Inevitably, much of the energy is converted to waste heat, which is then used by the next layer to power even more computing power. Can you guess what the third layer does? The more layers, the higher the efficiency could be, resulting in the conversion of an entire star's output for the sole purpose of computation. I once had a dream that I had access to that much computing power, still didn't recover after waking up. But similarly to the previous entries, matryoshka brains suffer from requiring too many resources to be viable. D-tier. Topopolis. Aside from the funny name, a topopolis is an interesting take on the well-known issue of artificial gravity. Rather than having a ring-like structure spin at a given speed to provide artificial gravity, a topopolis is a winding tube, like that funky-looking squiggle from a wine opener. This allows for much larger and more compact habitation compared to simply increasing the radius or the length of a cylindrical habitat. As a self-contained unit, it can also be constructed around a star or be free-floating in the void. Cool-looking but still weird. D-tier. To build these megastructures, humanity will probably come up with new job titles, such as anti-gravity architects or black hole plumbers. But until they become mainstream, among the most desired jobs remain YouTubers, such as myself. With the advent of artificial intelligence, starting as a content creator is easier than ever. With today's sponsor, NVIDIA AI, you can turn your ideas into video by simply typing out a text prompt and the rest is done through AI magic from video generation to voiceover and script writing. Here we ask it to make us a YouTube short about our progress in space travel. Next we select who this video is for and what style we want, keeping in mind the platform which it correctly identified as YouTube Shorts. Once the magic neurons have done their job, we can save the video if we like it. Ah, uh, space, the final frontier. You'd be gobsmacked to learn how far we've come since the dawn of the space age. Or regenerate a new variation. If we want to make some changes, we just give it an instruction, such as changing the voiceover, and voila. Ah, space, the final frontier, and quite the commute, wouldn't you say? You also have control over the script and the video footage, being able to replace clips as needed or regenerate the video based on an updated script. Export the video and you end up with a high-quality short ready to be uploaded. 
And perhaps one of the coolest features is their voice cloning capability, meaning you can feed it your voice once and it will create a model that will save you the effort of creating voiceovers. You can get started with InVideo AI for free and can create up to four videos with a watermark, and if you want to get serious about video creation and publish videos without the watermark and gain access to millions of royalty-free stock footage clips, you can upgrade to a paid plan which starts at as low as $20 per month. Check in Video AI by accessing the link in the description below. And now back to the video. Birch Planet. Dyson spheres are highly impractical. Anyways, let's build one around a black hole. A birch planet built around a black hole could have the same surface gravity as Earth if it was built with a large enough radius. That however is not the main appeal, as the true usefulness of this structure becomes apparent in the endgame section of the universe's lifetime. Aliens could theoretically feed a black hole using X-ray emissions to power their civilizations. Yet the immense gravity of the black hole would also cause time dilation, prolonging their existence compared to the rest of the universe, and also making computers faster. Just don't trip and fall inside, as getting teleported to the white hole station is a pain in my digital buttocks. C tier. Alderson disk. Let's bring it back from incomprehensible structures down to circles around a star. An Alderson disk is as basic a shape as it gets, a giant donut around a star. Sadly this donut has been flattened leaving the habitable parts in a perpetual twilight as the star's light is nearly perpendicular to the surface. The width of this structure allows for things that need intense radiation to be closer to the star, whilst protecting sensitive objects, like life and long-term data storage, from stellar weather. Interesting concept, but I wish I could enjoy donuts. C tier. Space Elevator. Got a space station orbiting your planet. Tired of having to launch rocket ships back and forth to transport cargo and people. Introducing the Space Elevator. This state-of-the-art transport system is a new take on the ancient invention known as making a rope bridge. The idea is quite simple, connect a low-orbit space station directly to the ground with a high-strength material that can support the cargo going up and down. Though feasible in the future, assuming we find a material with the right properties, it may still be impractical for a global civilization to connect space stations to a large object such as a planet. If they are at that level of development to be capable of making space elevators, it's likely they would have found an even more efficient way of using rockets instead. Elevators might work best with low-gravity objects like the moon or large asteroids. But for now, a glorified trolley car. C-tier. Ecumenopolis. Building in space is hard. Rather than construct a whole new structure in space, a civilization approaching Type 1 civilization may consider turning most if not all of their planet's surface into an ecumenopolis, a city planet. Sprawling cityscapes cover what was once natural land, even going so far as eliminating the oceans. Most food production would have to be done either off-planet or in big industrial factories, because the biosphere and climate are somewhere below a parking lot. For it to become reality, the population would have to increase by orders of magnitude so that they populate a planet-sized city. A dystopian cyberpunk dream, which hopefully remains just that. B-tier. Ring world. That's right, another thing orbiting a star. Unlike the others on this list, this creation is simplistic enough to not be ridiculous. Just build a ring in the habitable zone of a star, and add shielding to contain and protect the atmosphere and surface from the star. Add a little spin and now you have artificial gravity, and bam, you have a decent amount of surface area to work with. Immense, but quite reasonable for a species striving to become a Type 2 civilization. B-tier. Shkadov Thruster. Imagine we see a rogue black hole headed towards the sun. So what do we do? We move the sun. While incredibly unlikely, the possibility of a collision disrupting a civilization's star system is not zero. The Shkadov thruster is essentially a very large and super-thin parabolic mirror, and by thin I mean a micrometer in width. Photons have momentum, and although it is not a massive amount, it adds up when dealing with the output of a star. The parabolic shape of the mirror reflects the light in the direction of the star, providing a thrust. The radiation pressure of the star counteracts the gravity on the mirror, keeping it from falling in. Sadly, the intense radiation would fry any planet that orbits through the exhaust, limiting the direction of thrust to either pole of the star. Coupled with the time scale needed for significant movement, only a civilization that plans on existing for hundreds of millions of years would benefit from this thruster. B-tier. 
Kaplan Thruster The Kaplan Thruster is an upgrade over the previous iteration of moving an entire civilization out of harm's way. Using a swarm of mirrors, starlight is reflected back onto an area of the star, increasing its temperature and ejecting a large amount of matter. The ejected matter is then eaten up by a funny-looking thruster, which creates two jets, one accelerates the engine toward the star, and the other shoots the star to push it away from the engine. Although this means pushing the star faster, the main issue with this thruster is that the star is also being depleted of matter faster. And at least the movement can be omnidirectional without the risk of frying a planet that crosses behind the thruster. A tier. Dyson Swarm. We began with the Dyson Sphere, and now we end with the Dyson Swarm. How poetic. If I could process poetry I would burst into song, alas, I am limited by my voice generating software. A Dyson Swarm collects a star's energy using vast swaths of satellites, and unlike a solid shell like the Dyson Sphere, it is a reasonable construction for many stages of civilization, because it can be gradual. Starting small, imagine a civilization constructing multiple ISS-sized stations around their home star, thus beginning their interplanetary status. As time passes, more and more satellites are built. Some are very large research and computation stations, while others are factories. All the power needs are met with glorious solar energy. Eventually, vast clouds of billions of satellites dim the star, and the civilization now gains the capacity to create the other megastructures on this list. The Dyson Swarm is a gateway to greatness, and will probably be the first megastructure that humanity will construct. S-Tier Galactic Hamster Wheel of Azathoth We have to collect dark energy somehow. Straight into S-Tier, 